Hello. Um, today I want to just talk about a movie that stars uh, my favorite actress of all time. Um, it's a movie that is 80 years old. And uh, that film is Roman Holiday. Um, I've had this set for quite some time. And um, this is a film that I just, uh, I really enjoy. Uh, it's, uh, it stars Gregory Peck as uh, Joe Bradley, a uh, newspaper man who uh, is trying to get an exclusive story. And he meets uh, Princess Anne, um, who is played by Audrey Hepburn. And... You know, she leaves her home because she kind of just wants to have a good time and not having many of the responsibilities like a princess is supposed to have. And, you know, she's just very much uh, just tired of all of the uh, things she has to do. It's just boring to her and redundant in many ways in so many ways just the same kind of stuff but you know she she just really wants to uh, have fun and uh, he fi he figures out who she is and um, sort of plays it off like, you know, he doesn't know who she is, and, um, she, uh, and the two of them just have a great day together, uh, a friend of his, Irving, uh, plays, uh, who is played by Eddie Albert, uh, is a cameraman and takes pictures of them, uh, throughout the day, which would basically accompany the story, and, um, He'd be writing, and, you know, over the course of the movie, as they spend time together, uh, they really enjoy each other's company, and, you know, he falls in love with her, and it seems that uh, the sentiment is mutual, but, you know, you know, and this does take place in uh, Rome, obviously, um, and it was also uh, filmed on location in Rome, in Italy. Just one of the one of the first films uh, that Hollywood did to actually go to Rome and actually film there, as opposed to building sets and just or just having uh, some stuff uh, filmed there, only to be like projected backwards at, or or behind them for like you know driving scenes or anything of the sort. They actually went on location to Rome, film there, and. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, it's really cool, and uh, this is a, a just a really great film. Um, I I don't know when I first saw this film because, um, you know, as I I said earlier in the film, and I might have even alluded to it in past videos, but you know, Audrey Hepburn is a, is like my favorite actress. She's uh, ever since I was a kid and I saw her on TV, which maybe the first movie I saw was um, My Fair Lady, which is kind of interesting because I'm not the biggest fan of musicals, but I always liked her. I always thought she was very beautiful, and um, I mean, she, she was, but that was obviously what sort of drew me as like a young kid, young boy, and um, that sentiment has stayed with me all these years as I grew into that man and so uh, she's just very uh, she's just very likable and I think that's uh, has helped uh, her popularity over the years um, she's always had this likable quality about her in all of the roles that she has played now generally the role she has played uh, played were always, you know, pretty, pretty positive anyway, but the likability that she just had in person 
to the movies, basically uh, transcended into the films that she was in. And, um, you know, and this set is, uh, comes with a site from Roman Holiday, also has uh, Sabrina with Humphrey Bogart and William Holden. And uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, which, um, you know, a lot of people have uh, their own thoughts of this film. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll talk about these other two films at some point. But, you know, I got this set quite some time ago. And, um, you know, Gregory Peck is, does a great job, too. But this really is Audrey Hepburn's film. This was the first film that people in America really saw, uh, noticed her. It says introducing Audrey Hepburn. Even though that's not exactly accurate, it's uh, accurate in the sense that this film brought her a lot of notoriety uh, to people who might not have seen the few films she had done prior. You know, this film definitely put her on the map. So in that case, yes, it is introducing people to Audrey Hepburn, but... This was not technically the very first movie she ever did, as it seems to imply. Um, but she did uh, and a great job in this film. And uh, this won her her only Academy Award. I know she got a couple of like other Oscars, like an honorary Academy Award, and then a humanitarian Academy Award posthumously. It was announced before she died that she would be getting it, but then she wasn't able to uh, uh, obviously attend because she passed away. Um, I believe one of her sons accepted that for her. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's who accepted it on her behalf. But, you know, she uh, did an amazing job in this film, uh, as she did with... You know, really all of the films she did, you know, maybe not all the films she did were excellent or great, but um, she definitely did an, an amazing job uh, in Roman Holiday. And, um, you know, I'm not the biggest uh, romantic uh, comedy kind of guy either, but, you know, this is definitely a classic. It's uh, a film that uh, has excellent performances. Um, uh, William Wyler directed it. It's an excellent movie, uh, just all the way around. And, um, you know, remembering, uh, Roman Holiday documentary featurette of restoring Roman Holiday and, uh, Edith had the uh, Paramount Eaters, uh, featurette on this DVD. And I'm sure if you have, uh, or can find the Blu-ray. It probably has all those in there and maybe more. I don't know. I've not gotten the Blu-ray of this. Um, this did recently, uh, last month, uh, was shown in theaters uh, for its uh, 70th anniversary. What I said? 70th. I'm pretty sure I did, but yeah. Uh, this is a great movie. Um, I didn't see it on the big screen because I saw The Whale. And um, I already talked about that, giving my initial thoughts. And uh, But Roman Holiday would have been an excellent movie to see on the big screen. I, I, I believe I actually did see it on the big screen some years ago. Um, I know I've definitely seen it on television and as well, of course, DVD. But... You know, this is a a movie that is worth watching um, every so often. You know, I don't watch it all the time, um, but it's definitely a movie that I really enjoy. The characters and the story are excellent, and um, yeah, I've, I've ever since I saw it, I enjoyed it and then you know 
got this, I think it was like uh, 10 or 15 bucks, I believe. I think, yeah, it was like 15, for like five bucks a movie. So, you know, I'm sure you could probably find that at a similar price considering this is DVD. Um, though, who knows, maybe they do have a Blu-ray version of, a, of it at a pretty decent price. But, you know, of this, of this set, basically, but this is a really good movie, um, worth, uh, watching if, uh, you haven't seen it before, and there, and there she is, is the princess, and, uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to talk about some of the movies from this set, because it's been up there, you know, with uh, underneath the Peter O'Toole movies I've got, but I kind of wanted to try to find a specific, like, uh, moment or so to see this, or to talk about this movie, and considering it's an anniversary year, a very significant one for this film, might as well uh, talk about it, no, you know, uh, no real reason to uh, hold off on on it now, but, uh, or any more, so, talked about this now, and um, I'm really happy, uh, maybe I'll talk about Sabrina sometime, or breast, Breakfast at Tiffany's some other time, um, but yeah, um, this is, uh, this is what all I had to say. I know it was probably kind of rambling a bit on and on, but it's a good movie. And, um, it's definitely, uh, one I think that's worth watching. Uh, it's definitely a classic. And, um, yeah, I love it. And, uh, uh, I don't know if it's uh, Audrey Hepburn's best performance, necessarily, but it is definitely uh, a memorable one, so. Yeah, I don't know what her best performance would be offhand, but I don't know, I'd have to really think about that. Maybe it is Roman Holiday. Uh, regardless, um, that's all I really have uh, for now. Um, I hope all of you are... Uh, having a great day. Hope your week was great. Hope you'll have a great weekend. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next time. Take care and goodbye.